Hello. Uh, it's been a long time since I uh, uploaded a video. Um, for those of you who are wondering where I was, uh, over some time around in December, uh, I got pretty sick. And I thought it was just the flu. Uh, and I was talking to some of my, uh, some of my, well, some church members. And uh, they had a flu thing that was going on for a month or so. Um, and so I tried waiting it out and tried waiting it out. Meantime, I got sicker and sicker and um, got worse and worse until eventually I, I just felt so terrible that, you know, I, I, you can ask my wife, uh, <laughs> my emotions kind of went haywire. Um, the very uh, awkward time, uh, I was, the smallest thing would make me cry or make me angry or make me throw a fit. And it was just, you know, my, I felt almost like a, uh, like I was going through some male menopause or something. Uh, it was very emotionally trying, let's just say. Uh, well, it, I ended up going to uh, a emergency clinic. I forget what it's called, but uh, and they said they had no idea what was wrong with me, but that I looked terrible, and I needed to go to the emergency room immediately. So uh, my wife and I got, you know, the stuff that we needed. My, our for extended hospital stay, and we went to the emergency room, and uh, they couldn't figure out what was wrong with me, so they checked me into the hospital, um, and I stayed there for the rest of the week. It turns out that, uh, first off, uh, the sickness was wiping out my system. Uh, I got very, very dehydrated, and... Uh, the, they actually said that my body didn't have any of the necessary uh, vitamins, minerals, nutrients, anything that's necessary for your body to run. Uh, they said I didn't have it. So they gave me what they called a, uh, I think they called it a banana pack, which is, uh, it's a bag of, uh, that they hook up to your IV that has a bunch of different stuff in it, um, minerals and stuff uh, that they give to uh uh, people who come in that are that are real drunk uh, because uh, when you drink a lot it depletes your system and so sometimes when you're when you're admitted into the hospital they'll get hooked up to this and I'll put the stuff back into your system uh, well they have to, and they gave me one of those and I had uh, before I checked into the hospital that same night I had I think three um, of the IV bags that ran into my system and I didn't pee once <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, I didn't pee once, uh, and I was going to the, um, to the bathroom every 30 minutes to an hour, um, so that gives you the idea of how drastic of diarrhea I was having, and I, I had started losing my appetite, too. Um, <clears throat> well, anyways, they checked me into the hospital, they did a, a, a CT scan on me, and found out that I had a very extensive uh, uh, infection. Uh, that my body was unable to fight off. <clears throat> and uh, so they gave me a bunch of antibiotics, painkillers, and uh, yeah, then uh, uh, I'm just now getting better. I still have a little bit of a pain in my side, but um, we're talking about from December 20, 20-something 20 to now. Uh, so we're talking months. I spent New Year's Eve, Christmas Day, I spent it all sick. It was not fun. Um, so that's where I've been. Uh, excuse me. As you can imagine, um, I've been unable to do a lot of stuff. Uh, I was confined to my bed for a long time. Uh, finally, was able to start working out and toning my muscles. And <laughs> it just feels kind of weird because, uh, you know, when you go through something like that, your muscles are real depleted. And so you'll do like the smallest thing, such as take your garbage out to the to the trash can and it'll wind you you know you'll get out of air and you have to sit down for a minute so it it uh, was definitely a, an experience uh, actually my mom said that she she takes pictures for everything and she said that she didn't take a picture uh, when I was in the hospital because she thought that that would be the last time that she saw me so uh, as you can imagine I looked looked real bad um, had to take off work for work for a few weeks uh, take off my schooling for a few weeks. My professors were actually very uh, supportive throughout the whole process. 
Um, but, you know, uh, we all kind of felt like, you know, I wasn't going to make it. And then, you know, we prayed about it. We, we prayed through it. And immediately we all just felt this, felt this comfort. So then like the next week or so I went to the, when I went to the ER, you know, I just had a real comfort the whole time that I was in the hospital. And I knew that, I knew that God was, that God was taking care of me. And, um, well, it's just a real testimony because I should be dead and there's, there's no, I mean, here I am and there's no permanent damage. My kidneys are functioning perfectly fine. Um, it was just, there's some things that happen in your life where you can clearly, so clearly see, um, God working through it and God standing there, uh, with you. Uh, and then you always learn such, such important messages um, such important life applications uh, through traumatic experiences. Uh, I know, I know my devotional life, my, my, my mentally, I've just so matured from the experience. There's just so many things that I understand better now. And uh, plus I can relate to other people who have had to be in the hospital with a, with a prolonged sickness. So, um, but I, I'm planning on, on starting videos again. Like I mentioned before, I stopped doing videos um, I want to make Mondays, uh, Music Mondays, where I'll either do one of my songs or do uh, someone else's song um, every Monday. I'm really hoping to get into that. And uh, then I'll continue posting the other, the other stuff, the sermons and Bible studies, um, controversial topics, uh, biblical analysis of the controversial topics. Um, so I, I, I'm once again apologize for, for not uploading videos in so long. Uh, I know that uh, five or so months or however, or four months or however long it's been, I know it's a, it's a long time to, to wait to upload, um, but here it is. <laughs> so, um, uh, but like I say, it was just, it was really comforting because, you know, there were such parallel, parallels with spiritual salvation, you know, uh, with spiritual salvation, there's nothing that we did, God just while we were still sinning, came and saved us. And it was the same thing with my sickness. I mean, there's nothing that I could do. And uh, I didn't even realize the extent of the damage. And uh, while I was unable to, to save myself, while the doctors were having trouble, you know, figuring out what was wrong and what I needed and how to get me better, um, God answered those prayers and saved me, you know, and... Uh, I just wanted to share that testimony and explain why I've been gone for so long. So God bless. Uh, new videos soon, I promise, now that I'm getting better. <laughs> so uh, have a great rest of the semester if you're in school. And uh, God bless.